Hi, it's Charlie Minotta from halfwheel.com, and while I was finishing up my most recent ashtray review on halfwheel.com, I was looking for some other single cigar ashtrays, so I went to etsy.com, searched for cigar ashtrays, and I stumbled across this, and it's the Bowden ashtray from a company called Smoke and Rye Handmade, and I thought it looked interesting enough and was certainly attracted by the price, so I decided to buy one, and now I'm reviewing it. So Smoke and Rye Handmade is an Etsy store from Don Perkins, who is based in Florida, and given his location, it would not surprise me to learn that this ashtray is named after Bobby Bowden, though, I don't know, maybe he was a fan of Terry. Um, and Don Perkins says that he not only designs all of these products that are sold on the Etsy store, but he also makes all of the products himself. Most of those products are cigar focused. Uh, there are some other things though, and most of the cigar products are ashtrays. I believe all of the products in the Etsy store, at least as of the last time I looked in early May, all the products uh, used wood, although some of them used both wood and metal, and this is obviously an example of that. So I purchased this ashtray in mid-February. At the time, it was priced at $42. That included free shipping, at least in the US. Um, currently, at least as of the first week of May 2023, it appears that the price is now $40, so a little bit less expensive than before, and that still included free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. So as far as the specs go, uh, this ashtray is primarily made of teak. Uh, it does not appear to be sealed, although it is nice and smooth. Um, I can feel the wood grain, and uh, it has also absorbed the smell of cigars. So if I go to smell it, it smells like a very uh, used ashtray. Um, it smells like a burnt cigar and ash which is not surprising given that it's made of wood. So uh, in terms of uh, the other piece that's not teak, that would be the black metal bowl. Um, I don't know what kind of metal, I would assume just basic steel. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Dimensions wise, it measures 7.92 inches from here to here, um, or I guess here to here if you want to look at it that way. Um, at its widest point, it is 4.43 inches from here to here. Um, if you want to know the dimensions here, 1.4, four inches from here to here. I stand corrected, 1.22 inches from here to here. It is two and a half inches tall, so from here to here. Uh, I don't know why this is particularly relevant because it doesn't correspond to ring gauge. 0.95 inches from here to here in the interior of the cigar opening. More on that in a second. So for the purposes of this review, I'm going to pretend that the blue ribbon on the Stompapine Garcia uh, is ash. Uh, you can pretend that it's not ashed. I don't really care, but let's pretend that it's ash. Let's at least try. And uh, I would recommend putting this end with the ash over the bowl as intended, which means the end that you're going to smoke out of is over here, the cap or the head of the cigar. And I would recommend keeping the cigar so that the part with the ash is completely off of the wooden cigar holder piece here. Um, and the reason for that is that means that the ash is only attached to the cigar and it's not going to be brushing up against the ashtray. It's not going to be constantly disturbed by the ashtray. It also means that when the ash wants to fall, it's going to fall into the bowl, hopefully, and not into the wooden cigar holder piece. Um, and that is at least how you should be using this ashtray in theory. If you got some alternative theories about how to use the ashtray, leave a comment below. Uh, yeah, and beyond that, it's it's extremely straightforward. Uh, the cigar holder piece works really well. Um, so you can see here, I'm gonna turn this thing beyond 45 degrees and it's keeping the cigar in here, albeit just barely. Um, but it works really well to keep the cigar in place and keep it nice and secure. And there's about an inch, a little bit more, um, from the bottom of the cigar holder piece to the top of the bowl. So plenty of room um, so that your ash isn't gonna be touching anything if you don't want it to be. Now, I did mention that this is 0.95 inches from here to here in terms of the uh, uh, diameter or the, the width of the cigar holder piece, which should in a way correspond to ring gauge. It doesn't, and that's because the cigar holder piece doesn't go like 50% up. It it's kind of stops uh, maybe like a third of uh, the circumference of a cigar. And so what that means is that despite not being an inch wide, it actually can fit a 64 ring gauge, so that would be an inch in diameter, thick cigar flush. Um, I can't see any light coming through on this uh, inch ring master that is a 64 ring gauge cigar. That being said, on this 7x70 La Gloria Cubana, I can see some light coming through, though you'll know the cigar is firmly in place. It's not going anywhere. I mean, I can, obviously if I do this, it, it will fall off. But uh, it, it works really well for thicker cigars in terms of keeping the cigars in place. It also is going to work well with box press cigars um, and 
thinner ring gauge cigars. Really, I, I mean, unless you start getting into the comically large cigars, you're smoking Cro-Magnon femurs on a regular basis. This ashtray should hold the cigar in here uh, just fine. I didn't have any issues, although I think I kind of topped out at around a 6x60 in terms of the largest cigar I smoked uh, with this ashtray over the last two months. So now on to the pros and cons. I'm going to start with the good things. Number one is that it was a pleasure to use. The ashtray works as intended, and it's it really just sort of checks all the right boxes for me. So um, I really like ashtrays where the ash is not going to be touching the ashtray, where it is undisturbed. Um, I find that it creates less mess or, um, than if the ash is constantly having to come in contact with the ashtray itself. Uh, that means not only like the ash falling off prematurely, but also like kind of chipping off um, and just creating a mess. So this works well in that regard. Um, the cigar holder works really, really well. And there are like some small sort of details here that really help um, make things just a little bit better uh, for example because it's wood and because the wood grain um, is exposed uh, it means that there's a little bit more friction here so the cigar is less likely to slide around obviously you, you can slide it um, if you'd like but uh, compared to glass or porcelain um, the ability for the cigar to just roll off the ashtray not going to happen here uh, number two in terms of the pros list uh, i really like the way that it looks it is very mid-century modern looking which is why i was gravitated towards it certainly not the name um um, and I would say the like curve aspects here uh, are like a sneaky feature that make it a lot nicer than if it was just uh, a rectangular, used a lot of rectangular shapes. So there's all these curves. So you can see a curve right here. This piece curves back up here. There's this curve here, these curves here. Um, and it really kind of makes the ashtray more soothing if that makes any sense versus if it was super blocky it also makes it a lot nicer to handle not that you're like going to be pulling it like this as a display piece a lot of times but um, this piece right here serves as an actual handle and I find it a lot more comfortable um, back here than if it was uh, like squared off or rectangled off um, because there's just no sharp edges or very few sharp edges for uh, my skin to come in contact with. Number three in terms of the, uh, the good things here uh, the price. We purchased this ashtray in mid-February. It was $42 plus free shipping then. Uh, currently, as of the first week of May, it is $40 plus free shipping. So uh, just a, a hell of a lot cheaper than the most recent ashtray reviews here at Half Wheel, though I think all of them have been Davidoff ashtrays, so that probably explains some some things. Uh, on to the cons list, there are some minor ones. Number one is if you're smoking really big cigars, so I would say like this 7x70 would certainly qualify. I think the largest cigar I smoked in here was around a 6x60, but if you're going to smoke a big cigar, uh, you should know that you're going to probably fill up the bowl. The bowl is pretty small and it can't hold, uh, at least I would not think that it's going to be able to hold all of this cigar's ash comfortably. If you're smoking 8x80s, I would say it's definitely going to be an issue. You obviously can empty it out mid-cigar, but just know that that is something that's a, a likely possibility here with uh, how small the bowl is. Speaking of the bowl, um, I think a much larger concern for a wider group of people is that the bowl is super shallow, which means that if you're smoking in a windy environment, uh, this isn't going to be great because the ash is going to probably blow out of the ashtray's bowl, pretty easily. Number three is uh, the deep cleaning aspect here uh, is a bit more challenging. So daily cleaning is fine. I would recommend either just a, a dry cloth or rag or a damp cloth or rag um, and you can clean the bowl and there is going to be some ash that gets into the cigar holder. So uh, just be wary of that. But if you wanted to do a deep clean, it's tough. As I mentioned, the bowl is not removable and there are some really small areas that I cannot get my fingers into and, and can't really get maybe a paper towel would fit, but certainly not like a cloth or a rag or most cloths would fit inside of there. Uh, the good news is compressed air will solve that problem, but I do wonder if a future revision of this ashtray can't have it where the there's like a magnet in the base and then the bowl attaches to the magnet and can just be taken off completely. That would make it a lot easier to do a more thorough cleaning and would also probably help make sure that, you know, the right cleaner is going on the right material. So at Half we conclude cigar accessory reviews with a question. Would the reviewer recommend purchasing the product that's being reviewed. In the case of Smoke and Rye Handmaids, the Bowden Ashtray, it goes like this. 
I'm almost considering using this ashtray going forward as my daily driver ashtray. That's how much I enjoyed this ashtray. I liked using it. I like the way it looks. I love the price point. Um, really no complaints on my end other than some minor quibbles about cleaning it. But other than that, this was great. Uh, there are two caveats in terms of like the recommendation at large. Number one, if you're smoking outside in windy environments, I would not recommend this ashtray. Number two, if you're smoking large cigars, I would classify this as... 7x70, 8x80, anything north of 6x60. Uh, this may not be for you just because of how small the bowl is. You're going to have to dump it out probably mid-cigar, but you could do that um, without much issue, hopefully, I think. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, totally recommend buying it. You know, can't say enough nice things about this ashtray. It, it's been great, and I look forward to keep using it, whether on a daily basis or occasionally from time to time. For a written review that I've written with more pictures or with pictures, I guess, uh, you can check out halfwheel.com where there are also other cigar accessory reviews, including other ashtrays, cigar lighters, cutters, and humidors. We also do near daily reviews of cigars themselves, as well as daily coverage of everything that is happening in the cigar industry. Once again, all of that at halfwheel.com.